welcome all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture. My name is Maria Kondzielska and we're talking about journeys and books. With us is Grzegorz Kapla, author. Thank you very much again for coming. Grzegorz, you are in our show for a second time. Previously, we were talking about Georgia and you were talking about China. And now uh, you chose a different part of the world and this is Indochina, so Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Thailand. Uh, this was your last trip just before the pandemic. Uh, tell us how you were writing this book, how it is also to be I was a journey author. Do you, you, were you writing by being there, like with a pile of, I don't know, paper or where you... No, it's just a phone, you know. We, we've got the computers in our pockets now. So I'm using that. Uh, before I was, um, uh, I was writing uh, on the sheets of paper. In any place where you have to be longer than an hour and a lot of uh, places like that uh, you meet during the long trip because you have to wait for the bus, you have to wait on the border crossing, you have to wait for the boat, then you have to wait when the boats go to the other side of the Mekong. So there's a lot of waiting. It's a lot of waiting, a lot of free time. And free time is the best time for uh, for traveling writer uh, because you just uh, uh, seeing things and you putting them, you, um, you exchanging them for the letters. So that's what I'm doing. We talked about the uh, sad things like landmines, post-war uh, trauma. We don't say about the Agent Orange. Uh, what is? This is actually a very interesting part like, before yeah, the it's, Agent it's, Orange. Uh, it's the saddest part of this, um, uh, of history of this land because Agent Orange, it, it was the chemical uh, used by engineers of war, uh, they were invited the chemicals which can um, exchange uh, jungle into the desert during a few hours. Helicopters and airplanes were just burning the jungle using that things and, and Agent Orange stopped the jungle stop vegetation of, uh, of of the forest, and the partisans of Viet Cong and other uh, groups, there was no place for hiding uh, to them. For that now. was the idea, um, and uh, American uh, soldiers can easily uh, f look at them uh, using their uh, chapters, but. Um, Nobody knows that Agent Orange will mm, change uh, human DNA. And mm, not then, but now. Uh, so it lasted in the soil, in the water, yeah. and in the and, and, and country. And if you touched by, by it, your children will be... Uh, deformed. Deformed. And the, the deformation... Are so it's a little so bit like post-atomic. West, because, uh, because post-atomic uh, syndrome means that it touches you, but not your children. The, the post-agent orange uh, uh, syndrome means that your children and your grandchildren, who knows how long it will be, because will be the Because it changed the DNA. Yeah, and you... So um, what kind of people have you seen there? Um, so you're just going to the place where people are making p pictures of elephants. And you see that the girl which is painting get two thumbs. Two thumbs. Yeah, so it's, that's the first impression, what's going on. Then you see that the, the baby which, uh, so there are girls sitting with, like the beggars, girls, young ones, but uh, every one of them keeps their baby, and the ba babies are deformated, like, you know, the small baby, like, year old, with the so big head. Um, and you're thinking, is it really a human being? And you're saying, yes, because it's moving. Yeah, you, it's, it's, it's living creature. creature. So and baby then you with see the head. guy who is playing uh, the instrument with the orchestra of Agent Orange uh, toxic uh, syndrome uh, orchestra and they collecting money because there's no job for them. And you see that one of them has no eyes, but it's not just the, um, it's skin on the uh, so whole. His eyes never formed yeah, themselves. They, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like that. And uh, you see those people in Cambodia and in Laos and it's 
it's often if you would like to see them okay you never see them in the in the uh, resort for uh, rich european or american or australian or chinese uh, tourists but if you go to meet the people of the cities and and and, and villages you easily find so Agent Orange is an example of how war affects another generations of people yeah. they're living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still it's in the so beautiful world. It's this part of the world is really beautiful and rich of everything you can imagine. But uh, the traces of war are still visible if you would like to see at them too, because you can close your eyes simply in and not see them. The book of Grzegorz Kapla, Mekong, just before the end of the world, uh, shows us a lot of those traces of war in the part of Indochina, in Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, which are still there because war never ends when only the shooting and the fighting ceases. And that's, I would say, a good punchline for the situation which we are facing right now. And to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily, thank you very much for watching our show.